How to create a carousel on Webflow. Hi there, today we will learn about how to create a carousel when presenting your works or images into your Webflow or when creating a project here on Webflow. So first thing that you need to do actually is to look for grid up it's actually an extension that you can add into your web browser either your google chrome or your google um, microsoft edge you actually have the option to use grid up for free for seven days where it costs zero dollars and once the seven days is up you can actually purchase or get a plan where it starts at 33 dollars per month but you can actually just set up or sign up with your account here for free if you just want to try it out and here you have options either you needed components for every use, resources for your growth, the grid up for extensions, or you also have an option for a grid up for a Figma account. So here, these are the latest components that you can use or incorporate into your Webflow creation. What you can do here is I will actually choose the Chrome extension here so that this will be available into once I have added the extension into my web browser, I could definitely use it when I will be creating a carousel on my Webflow project. So here you just need to get the extension and then once it's fully installed, you will see here when you will create a project on Webflow, it will be one of the tools that you can use here that's right after the settings option so the first thing that you will do here is that here in webflow they actually have an option where there's a carousel like option where it's called slide that's under the uh, advanced option when you click on the plus icon here on the left side panel of the screen this actually allows you to add slides so let's say you want to incorporate pictures into your um Webflow project with showing your works or your projects that you had. It actually has an option as well here where you can set it to automatically um, do a slideshow and automatically place the videos or continuously um, do a slideshow with the images or the projects that you have here. You can actually set it up here on the left side panel of the screen where you can actually modify that here. You can either set up the image here with the slider settings on how the duration will or how long or how long the delay timer would be. So for example, it's actually in milliseconds. So we'll set it up to 100 milliseconds. And then you will see that when you click on preview, the images that you have for the slides will automatically swipe into the next slide that you have. So you can actually add the slides as well here on the right side panel of the screen for as long as you choose the component or the slide component that you added into your um, section into your web page but another thing here is that if you want to have another look so it will be more carousel like you can actually use the grid up extension that we have click on that icon that i click here and it will provide you a lot of options either on the basics components on pages but what we'll focus on today is under components you will see that there's a lot of options but what we will work on is under sections and just look for slider here when you click on slider it will provide a pop-up or a demonstration on how the slider um, component would look like and what you need to do is just click on copy here. When you click on copy, what you will do is 
Click on the plus icon here on the upper right corner of the screen and add a section. Then once you have another section here, you just need to paste the component and here you'll be able to see that the carousel from grid up with the slider option is now available or it's now added into your web page that you are creating here. So here you can actually double click on the title and you can change it to whatever you like. And you can actually select into the different parts of the slides here um, where you can cancel. For example, you just want to have the images showcased without any text or without any descriptions. You can actually click on the whole dev block and then you can actually delete that by clicking the, the word delete uh, or delete option on your keyboard. You can do that manually into your um, web page here. And once you are done with deleting the description for each slides that we have here, you can now click on a preview or you can add into different images into your project as well. So I'll just refresh my website here since it lagged. So let's just delete all these details here. This may take a while. So using grid up is definitely a easy to use um, extension. You just need to have the extension, but you can only use it for seven days. So if you want to use this commercially or for professional use, you can actually subscribe to one of their plans as well. So that you will be able to access a lot of components that they offer. They actually, here since it's for a free trial, it actually allows us to only have one option for the slider. But once you have um, purchased a plan, it actually has pre uh, it will actually provide you a lot of options and variations with the slides that we will have. So here I'll be adding the image. I can actually just click on the image block here and then click on the gear icon when I click on it here. So when I click on the gear icon, it has the option to choose an image. And then here on their assets, you can actually upload the images ahead of time and by dragging and dropping it into the uh, asset options. And then you can just do this manually here where you can add the images into your um, web page or the Webflow project that we are creating. Let's just wait for this to fully load up here let's just have i'm just choosing random images here so let's say my website is about pillowcases and one of these images are examples of the designs in the pillowcase that we have so here when you click on preview you can see that on the first slider that the webflow offers it actually automatically um, slide for you while here for the um, grid up they actually need to click on the arrows or arrow keys here and then it actually has an option as well on to the different views whether it's a mobile or tablet view different positions or portrait view as well it actually has an option here for you the same functions is just that different format where it actually has limited spaces for you to um, view or work into your web page here on Webflow. And that's basically it. That's how you will be able to create carousel on Webflow. And that's the end of the video. Thank you for watching. Bye.